Hey, like, remember I, when I was in my Germantown house and our fire alarm was going off in the middle of the night yeah. and during October? Yeah, 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 yeah. And so the fire alarm just goes off in our room. John and I sleep in. We both obviously wake up. In a fright. Scared as fuck. It was October. Yeah. It was October. So, I just got done watching. Um, Ethan Hawke was in the film. What is it? What is it? Ethan Hawke was in the film. I don't even know who that is. Ethan Hawke, he's in a uh, training day. Denzel Washington, the white dude. Ethan oh, Hawke. time out. Let me try to get this. Let me try to get this. All right, uh, don't say it. Don't say it because I'm gonna get it. Um, One of those will. Type in uh, like scary movie or something. Ethan Hawke. He is in. He's a film. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah. He's a film. He's a filmmaker in the movie, right? Possibly. Yeah. Um, and he finds a bunch of tapes in the attic. Yes. And then he put. That okay. was the movie we watched. That yeah. Night. What the fuck? I just gotta look because the sinister. The sinister dude. That that's is a, a that's a, a good, good fucking spook dude. We had just watched it that night, or I did anyway. Oh my god. And our fire alarm goes off, and it's the one in our room. And we kind of lay there, and it goes off. And Charles, and, uh, Charles was like, "That was that was weird." I was like, "Oh yeah, no!" Yay. And I was like, uh, when, "When the girl, when like, the girl starts to get a little nervous too, and you're like, Fuck, dude, yeah, like, that was.'" I was kind of trying. I'm trying to think like when anything. She's happens like, "Do you at think night? the oven? Do you think the oven or something's on downstairs?" Uh-huh. And I was like, "I don't know." And then it went off. And I was like, "Okay, we can just go back to sleep." It goes off again, you're dude. Lying. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about because oh. Charles goes, "Go check," and I was like, "No, I'm not going to fucking check, dude." <laughs> And then, uh, so it kept going off and I was like, uh, I'll just, I'll just try to turn this one off up top in a room. I go up and undo it. And these fire alarms are resilient. Yeah. Now. Like we, you, we unplug it. I rip something off and I, it goes off again. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to go to bed. I climbed on top of the table. We go back to bed. Door still shut. I haven't opened the door yet. Fire alarm goes off again, dude. What, the one you just pulled out? Yeah. 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 And I don't I don't fucking know. They're like chickens when you cut their head off, dude. They just keep running. Yeah. They just keep fucking going. And um, I go, okay, I'll go downstairs if you go with me. Yep. I do that all the time. Poor Taylor will be nine months pregnant. Swear to God. She gets up. We're shoulder to shoulder. I'm not in front or I won't. Listen, I won't put you in front either. Don't be in front. Don't we're be in back. Be dude, side that's, by that's, side. A rule. that's a rule to yeah. live. We're going to be side by side. Our arm and if we open the door. It's like, you know how you open the door and you push it and you step oh, back? Yeah. And then, uh, obviously, pitch black, you turn the lights on, and then you look, because the lights are on upstairs, but you know how it's pitch black downstairs, so it kind of, like, fades in the darkness I'll tell downstairs. you what, too, is, like, when you're in the dark, you try to, like, go night vision with your own eyes. You're just, like, you're, like, you're, like walking. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you start, like, really fucking open those eyes, like, come on, yeah. dial it, you motherfuckers. Get halfway down the stairs, reach the rest of the way for the, uh, for the, the light switch at the bottom of the stairs, yeah. turn it on, so everything comes on, you look around. I, I guess we just had a weird little deal that night. Go back to sleep. Find the you next just day. Did, how'd you go back to sleep though? Did you go back to sleep all right? Uh, I mean, it took a minute. It took a few minutes because we're sitting there and I'm like, man, it's October. That just happened. I really bitched out. Oh, no <laughs> question. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like all the macho, like the dude will go check. Fuck that, dude. Hey, I'll go down there, but you're coming with me. Lights on. Sleeping I, with the lights on. I am 100%. You had a bit of a deal. You've had a bit of a deal before. I'll tell you what. I've had a couple of fucking deals. Which one you want to tell? Well, the one the one you're referring to, I kind of can't remember right now. Do you want to jog my memory, or do you want me to uh, the one else? I'm thinking about is when you and Taylor, you guys were doing something, and it, and basically the light lit up and saying they don't like you, your presence in the room. Oh, that was some shit. Well, that that was kind of going to like when I really started believing in like spirits and shit like that. What is that one? The spookiest thing you've done? Um, the most scared of, not the most scared I've ever been in my life. What's the most scared you've ever been in your life? Real okay. Before I tell that, I just want to go back to. I don't think it matters how old you get when those lights go off sometimes. Like if you're walking up the basement stairs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you hit them lights and it's like, well, I can walk it. And you're just, you just like, you yeah. fucking hit, the, you hit that little speed up. Like, ah, yeah. oh, not the day. Right. Not, not the, the day, fucking dude. day. When dude, Chucky was out back in the day and you were yeah. younger, yeah, you go to the bathroom play. or think like, I'm not going to get out of my bed. Cause that little motherfucker's probably under there. Yeah. Run and to things, the bathroom. Things too, a play in your head too. Back to the bed, jump in. Covers are going to protect you somehow. What I don't understand, I think I think our generation might be a little more puss than the last generation because my mom growing up and shit like that would watch like some fucking TV shows of like people getting abducted and they're trying to find them and shit like that. Like, yeah. And, you know, my mom's like, they're, my parents are divorced. And I'm like, coming home and you're watching this by yourself. I would never watch that shit by <laughs> yeah, myself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I got to have a teammate. I got to have a partner with right. me. You know what I'm saying? Sleep with the door open. Sleep with that. I tell you what, you ain't sleeping with no fucking door open. I tell you what, Alex might be a goddamn serial killer. God, that's what I'm saying. He might be a serial killer for that kind of shit. It's scary. But uh, the most scared I've ever been in my entire life, it was my senior year at Michigan. I'm, I'm just trying to relive it right now so I can kind of paint a little picture. I'm dating this girl. She's in bed. I'm sleeping. How, how, how uh, close? How much of a relationship are you in? 
I okay, mean, she's new? sleeping in my bed. But I'm saying, yeah, yeah. Oh, but, oh, but is oh. it new? We no, no. We've been dating for like six, seven months. Good okay. girl. Okay. Good so you girl. knew each other well. Um, yeah, we knew each other well. You know, because think about it. If something spooky happens and it's new, there might be a part of you that might I, be. Is it her? I kind of have to. It could be her, or I kind of have to be a little more macho right now because you know. See, I don't. I don't play them games. I respect I am, that. I'm I who I that. am. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, the boy's a bit of a bitch when the sun goes down. <laughs> <laughs> when that sun sets, if it's sunset, oh, it's beautiful. It's glorious. I'll fucking, I'll man up for you a little bit. A couple yeah. silhouettes in the background. If it's dark outside and the lights are on, uh, your boy fucked. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now your boy, your boy ain't yeah, saving yeah. Your My poor wife, dude. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll go in the back and I'll fucking just, I'll be laying there sleeping and I'll hear a noise and fucking, I, I'm like, you got to come with me. You gotta fucking let's yeah, go. Yeah, like, hey, I'll do and this. Like, are you serious? She'll literally be pregnant. I'm like, you gotta come, dude. <laughs> I'll hear like a bang, and I'm also the same fucking guy that like if I there's a noise that's obviously fuckered. I'm like, it's the AC unit. It's just the AC. The AC was just kicking on. That's all it was doing. Or oh, someone's turning on the shower upstairs. Something yeah. like that. I have an excuse for everything to make sure I don't get out of that fucking bed. There's been a couple times now where I've had the gun my my gun out in my house, scared shitless. Was one of those times your senior year? No. So my Finish senior. That story. Okay. So this is a real fucking story. My, my, <laughs> my senior year of high school. Has anybody ever heard of Slender Man? Yeah. Okay. Rabbit hole and scared oh myself to my death. Oh my god! I now. ran across campus at one point by myself back from the library because of that. Dude, that shit. What is it? Fuck. Okay, we'll pull it up in a little bit. Mm-hmm. But I okay. At this point in my life, I did not know what Slender Man was, who he was, or anything. So that's what makes this a little more spooky to me. I'm sleeping. My senior year, and I get startled woken up. My bed's in the corner. Like, if my bed's a box, a fucking square, in one front left corner is the door. In the back right corner is my bed. My bed's farthest possible away from the door. Obviously, the door's closed, Alex. My door's always been closed. I wake up, and I look up, and I'm, I'm startled, and I'm frozen. I can't move my body. For whatever reason, I think that's like a real thing when you're sleeping and you like you wake up. It's a it's a real deal. Sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis. I think I had that. I'm really not sure. I haven't really dove too much into it because it's really fucked me up. Yeah. And in in like my scared, paralyzed body, I like kind of look out of the corner of my eye to the left. And I see this black, long figure with no face. Oh, on the dude, edge of my chilled. bed. I swear to God, dude, on the edge of my bed, he's leaning towards me kind of just like crooked his neck like that i like cannot move i'm like my body is like paralyzed with fear and this guy's just looking at me and the first thing i let out is like the most like over the top scared little boy scream i give it like a "Ah!" like a fucking real real scream i start screaming so hard my girlfriend at the time she's laying in bed on her side instead of doing anything she just goes, ah, and like goes into a ball. <laughs> I has no idea what the fuck is going on. And slowly, like, you know how you're like, I'm now, I now can move, but I'm still so scared of what's going on that like, I'm doing like, I'm doing the eye thing. I'm like trying to look at it and, and like fix my eyes so that like, maybe it'll disappear. Yeah. It ends up disappearing, but my door is open in my bedroom and I always close my door. Oh, <laughs> Okay, trying to trying to get it back. It kind of it got kind of scared me though. Uh, so I'm like I'm kind of fuck, fucked up about this. My girlfriend at the time we end up talking about it. We kind of leave it alone. I come home a few days later. My girlfriend goes, "Hey, Michael wants to talk to you." Well, yeah, sure, whatever. I go upstairs. Michael has a sit down conversation with me. I sit on his bed, and he goes, "I've seen it too." And I'm like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" He goes, "About three months ago, I was laying in bed, and I woke up startled." and could barely move and by the time I was able to move I rolled over and looked at my dresser and there was a long long yeah I just got chills again dude there's a long limbed man in a black suit it felt like with no face with a gray face like but no face and he was just like he was like his face was moved towards me like he was intently looking at me and I was frozen with fear and I couldn't move and he just slowly disappeared and my door was open and I was like what are we gonna (laughs) What are we going to do about this? (laughs) (laughs) 